In this morning's Business Insight, Cincinnati is one of two U.S. cities among the top 10 on a newly released New York Times list of the 52 places to go in 2018. That's two U.S. cities in the world. Cincinnati and New Orleans made the top 10 list, which includes destinations in Italy, Switzerland, Chile, and the Caribbean. Cincinnati is highlighted mainly for attractions in Over the Rhine. The focus of the write-up is Music Hall's recently completed renovation, along with the expansion of Ensemble Theater Cincinnati and Cincinnati Shakespeare Company nearby. Julie Calvert, the executive director of Source Cincinnati, a regional initiative that's driving national efforts to get Cincinnati recognized, joins us this morning to talk about the impact of the New York Times ranking. She is with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Hey, girlfriends. Thanks, Peg. You should be over here with us. Um, <laughs> So, Julie, you know, like I read that and I, I was almost like, no, Stunning. this can't be right. Mm -hmm. How, start off with how do you get recognized by the New York Times? Well, first of all, how fun is that, that Cincinnati <laughs> on that Completely list? Completely fun, Amazing yeah. fun. I mean, every, you know, superlative word you can think of yeah. is, is really great. Um, you know, this is, I, I, I would not say this is the culmination because this is just the beginning, you know, for Cincinnati. But this ranking is, is really uh, the culmination of so many years of work, really, and really about three or four. Mm -hmm. of really being intentional and deliberate about how we talk about this city in terms of you know lifestyle um, you know business investment um, you know what it's like to live here mm -hmm. you know what it's like to visit here and you know we've had we, we, we were together about a year ago and we mm -hmm. talked about travel and leisure talking right. about since I one of the places to go in 2017 and from there um, there were five New York Times stories on Cincinnati mm -hmm. just last year alone which mm -hmm. is unheard of for so many cities and so many destinations so and is it that kind of build-up that leads to a ranking like like this yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's that kind of build up, but it's also sort of the smaller, more, you know, niche publications. It, it's just where is Cincinnati showing up in the national conversation over and over and over again, whether it's for a, a business purpose, um, it's a lifestyle purpose, it's uh, talking about our innovation, our arts, our culture, um, what it's like to live here in Cincinnati, what are some of the ways we're working together to solve problems and issues mm -hmm. um, that exist in the city. So it's not all, you know, fun and games. I mean, right. there's some real tough issues that we're tackling right. as a community. Um, and, and how we're doing that is really getting recognition through rankings in national articles. And you have to have the substance to back it up. I mean, it's one thing to promote and talk about, right. but when the New York Times is coming here and they're looking at, they're going to see if this is not all that we're saying it is. They're going to, so right. there, what's, Peg mentioned some of the things that they're looking at, Music Hall, the renovation there, the, the theater district. Talk a little bit about the substance of what we, Cincinnati, right. have to offer. So I think when you're looking at certainly those attributes of the arts, the culture, the, the assets that you have, but we're also looking at the types of restaurants that have opened and how long those restaurants, restaurants have been open and the mm -hmm. types of people that are opening those types of venues. What is the vibe? What is the spirit of the community? Who are the people that are really moving this community forward? Mm -hmm. How is that happening? Um, you know, and it's really what it is. It's, it's a groundswell of people who just really love and care about this region, about this city, and put their heart and their soul into the opportunity of, of, of what they're doing here in Cincinnati. And we've got, you know, people that have, you know, chefs and, and entrepreneurs that have moved here from so many other big cities, but are finding their success and finding their love right here in the city because this city and this region is enabling that success that's creating, you know, just this, this drumbeat of opportunity over and over and over again for this region. Yeah, and I'm sure they would talk about quality of life to those very people that you're You know, it, it is. It, it's cost of living. Um, it, it's, you know, the way they feel about the community, the way the community yeah. accepts them mm -hmm. into Cincinnati um, and they're just really finding success here that they're not, ab not able to find in, in many other cities. So we, we got this distinction. Everyone's buzzing about it. How do we leverage it? What do we do with it now? So, you know, we were, we've been talking about this a lot, you know, the past, you know, few days since this happened and, and, you know, when you think of cool buzz cities across the nation and across the world and you think of Austin, uh, Denver, you know, Boston and others, um, this is where this started for mm. them, you know, and, and they got very serious about telling their story and how this and how this works for them. So for Cincinnati, what this does is this puts us squarely in the national conversation. We are no longer on the fringe. Mm -hmm. uh, we are no longer a city to watch. Mm -hmm. We have arrived. We are there. And I think it's up to all of us as a community to continue to find those good opportunities, those good stories, the way to talk about the city, yeah. to use this to instill pride in awesome. those of us who live here and not talk about, well, why Cincinnati, but well, of course. Of course. And, and we've got to change that conversation. That's right. Great story. Congratulations to your team for all the work that you've done. And I'm sure we'll be continuing to talk about this throughout the year. We will.